that's my little bottle display for Halloween. The bottles have all completed. I've got a little plastic skeleton in from Powerland. I've painted the mason jar to look like Jack Skellington. Um, and they're all old rediffuser jars. I've put a rose from Poundland in. I painted that black bottle with some roses in. And now get some with the crafting, shall we? Hello, um, you're going to have to excuse the state I look because um, my hair is just not doing anything right today and I look a mess and I've been poorly for the past week or so. So um, what I'm going to do is going to finish off some crafting. Um, I get an old bottle, paint it with white paint. You can do one or two coats, whichever. Wait for it to dry and then we put um, the very, very thin layer of tissue paper on. You get some Mod Podge glue, which I got from eBay for a couple of quid. Paint the glue on. We put little ditty bits of this on, which you'll see in my fast forwarded video that I show. And we just like paint it on with the Mod Podge glue with a sponge. And then paint a bit over with the glue. And we just cover the whole bottle up. And that's my decoration now. I've done one for my niece um, for our old house. She wants another one. I've done one for my sister um which you will see the one i'm making in my fast forward video so i can't show you the end result of that because i've already gave it on and uh, now i'm going to do another one for minis because she did want one to match her bedroom now which is white and gray um and she's wanted some uh, zebra print design so i'm going to do that now you'll see that fast forwarded up i hope you enjoy it i'll show you the leopard print i did zebra print sorry not leopard print because I didn't actually have to show you that. I got this for 99p from eBay. And this is just four, I think it's four napkins. Zebra print napkins. eBay do no end napkins. And you can get them in other shops like pound shops and things like that. Pack of napkins. So there's plenty of paper places you can get your napkins for. So that's that design that my niece wants. And what we do is we take the first layer. Obviously you get the very, very fine first thin layer which will be that one there peel this apart now you can do this in stages but i think the way my niece wants it i might just like cut it in half and put half on and then half again we'll see how we get on might have to do it in stages really because i don't think it's going to work no other way And that is the zebra print decoupage bottle. We'll put a flower in the top and then that's all ready for my niece. There you go. You could even put a white flower in, you could put a black flower. Pity I haven't got a flower to show you at the moment. But see, nice and quick and easy. I did spray it, a coat of this lacquer spray just to protect it and give it like an extra seal to it. So it's a quick dry and easy to use interior and exterior lacquer spray. Right, the next craft I'm going to do is I bought a fish bowl for Pound from Poundland. And then I bought some of the cobwebs. I'm not sure which one to use yet. This one's Pound from Pound Stretcher and that's a Pound from Poundland. So the Pound Stretcher one, you can see, it's a bit bigger than the Poundland one. Um, I think I might do 
the green. And um, this was from Paris Dirt Shop, this rat for a pound. These were from Poundland, some bats and spiders, and I got the eyeball eyeballs from Poundland. That's the eyeballs. They were a pound. What I'm going to do is I'm going to try and make some sort of fish bowl sort of display. I do a seasonal ones, as you see in my other videos. I do a spring, summer, autumn, winter one. So what I've thought is I'm going to do a Halloween one. And I hate the feel of this stuff on my fingers. I seriously do. So we're going to get it all stretched out. And then we're going to kind of layer it inside the bowl. It doesn't matter if some of the spiders fall out because we will be adding them anyway. I'm not sure to have this like spilling over or do I not? I'm not 100% sure yet. It's going to be trial and error with this one. Let's put it inside first. Oh, I hate the feel of it. It sticks to everything. And I've got glue on my hands. Right, so I'm not sure if that's going to be too much in there. So let's pull some of that off. Try and separate it if we can. Oh, crikey. <laughs> and I'm not sure even if the rat's going to be too big. Is it going to fit? It's not going to fit. So we might have to like hang him over the side and try and stick him on the side. I don't know. Kind of a bit, that's a bit of a fail, that one. <laughs> or we could put Mr. Bones in. He was a pound as well. Pack of two from Poundland. And we're going to put some body parts in. So what we'll do is we're going to sprinkle some of these spiders in. This is going to be my Halloween display. It's a pity that rat's too big. And we're going to get these. Keep the crawlers. There is a big mass of spider. There's a bat, which I might actually start sticking on the side. If I stick this on the side, I won't be able to use this fish bowl again, which is the only problem. And it's going to be more of a more of a theme, isn't it? And there's a spider. And a little rat. I don't think we will be sticking it on the side because we would have the problem then. We'll get a couple of the eyeballs. The eyeballs. Ooh. Make sure the eyeballs are facing upwards so you're not going to know. Is it an eyeball? Are you really? Another one. I might get one more over here. And then what we're going to do is. going to have Mr. Bones. We're going to pull his arms and, well, do I pull his arms and legs off? Do I just pull his legs off? We're going to pull his legs off, take that little clip off the top of his head and we're going to have him kind of resting inside like that. I'll try and put this camera up a bit for you so it's a bit easier for you to see. Not going to use this fish bowl again. What I would have done is I would have got the spiders and things and stuck them on top for a bit more effect. Where's the other thing? I don't know. And like the wrap would have had probably balancing somehow. Can't find my other thing. 
Oh yes, the back. We would have them like resting outside like this. But I want to use this fish bowl again. So what I'm going to do is just going to do it's kind of a graveyard thing, really. That's a fish bowl Halloween design. Um, we'll get some. You can either put some lights inside it, some Halloween lights like these purple ones, a bit rounded effect, or you could put some glow sticks in. You could actually split the glow sticks, cut them, and just put little droplets in. And all this here will glow up in the night. I will show you that later on tonight because at the minute it is daytime and you won't be able to see it. You can't really see all my face in here, but sorry. Yeah, you won't be able to see it. So um, let's get you up so you can see my face. I'm not really presentable, but what the heck. So we'll do that with the glow sticks. I'll show you that later on. Um, and then my other thing now is going to be doing making a Halloween wreath. Halloween wreath without getting my tongue tied so i'll put that fish bowl one one up there until later on so i can show you at night time it's glowing up and there it is with the glow stick cut up and like all the bits from the inside sprinkled inside of it that's my little halloween fish bowl decoration now obviously i've grown up do this um because you should not get any of this product from these glow sticks on your hands so this is for adults to do only, but that's the little decoration. I quite like that. We'll show you it in a different lighting as well. This is in my room, so when you've got the house fully dark, you'll see that it lights up like that. Now, we're going to have these left over. So, when you do my Halloween wreath, I got this wreath, which is part of the Christmas range, really, from Poundland, but I'm going to make a Halloween one like this. And on this, I'm going to put some Halloween spiders I got from Poundland. Some, oh, just drop the glue, some lights that we got from Poundland. And some Halloween tinsel that we got from Poundland. And we can stick these on. Either just press them in, so you've got some legs hanging down, like that, or you can glue gum them on. So let's decorate this first, let's get going. And there it is, my, well, I will be hiding that, but my Halloween wreath. I've stuck the skeleton's head on there, and then the arms, and then the legs. And with some spiders on, and I'm going to switch the light off and show you it all lit up. Without that hook falling off. And there it is, my Halloween light-up wreath.